Hello to all. Welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how we can perform a drought mapping in Google Earth Engine using the VCI that is Vegetation Condition Index. So, for this exercise, we are going to use the satellite data of MODIS. It is a 16 days composite MODIS Terra Vegetation Indices that means NDVI and uh, this is the product, NDVI based product which is used uh, to calculate the VCI, that means Vegetation Condition Index. So the data sets are available for the global coverage at the resolution of 250 meters from year 2000 onwards and till date. And in this exercise, we are going to use the Google Earth Engine, a cloud-based computational platform in estimating the VCI using the NDVI MODIS image. So first of all, those who are very much familiar with the NDVI uh, those who are not very much familiar with the NDVI, so NDVI is a normalized differential vegetation index and it is a standardized way to measure the healthiness of vegetation. So when you have a high NDVI value, uh, we have a higher uh, healthier vegetation and when we have a lower NDVI value, it has a lower NDVI, uh, uh, lower or no vegetation. So the NDVI value ranges from 0 to 0.1. So for in this example, we can see this, uh, the formula for NDVI is NIR uh, minus red upon NIR plus red. So that means reflectance in the NIR band and red means reflectance in the red band. So this is the healthy plant uh, in which we can see that the NIR band is actually emitting 0.5 uh, unit of radiance uh, and in the red band uh, or in the visible band, it is producing only 0 0.08. So, if we do a mathematics if with this formula, that means NIR minus R upon NIR plus R. So, for in this case, we are getting 0 0.72 as an NDVI. But when the vegetation is not healthy, automatically the uh, amount of reflectance in NIR band will be low, and the amount of reflectance in visible band will be more as compared with healthy vegetation. That's why by using this formula, we are getting the NDVI value as 0.4. So, uh, with the help of comparing with the NDVI value, we can clearly see that this is the unhealthy vegetation. So, now, uh, the normalized current NDVI with respect to maximum and minimum NDVI over a single pixel, over a single pixel, Kogao, uh, a name of a scientist who proposes a vegetation condition index and with the help of VCI compare the current vegetation index to the value observed in a similar period over a specific pixel. So suppose over a pixel we are getting an NDVI but we can see that over uh, historically uh, that NDVI value is larger of uh, what it get in the previous year or it is a lower of average value of the previous year. So we can say that it is a drought or a non-drought pixel. So with, a, uh, with the help of NDVI to Kogao has uh, proposed a VCI, a formula for VCI is, uh, it is a, also a, a normalized value that side is multiplied by 100. So the formula goes like this, that means NDVI current minus NDVI minimum divided by NDVI maximum minus NDVI minimum. So this value also uh, ranges from 0 to 100, uh, sorry 0 to 1 and if we do this multiplication factor it ranges from 1 to 100. And certain uh, researchers have proposed some classification. So for an example, if the VCI value is coming from 0 0.0 to 0 0.1, that means it the pixel is experiencing uh, extreme drought condition and when the pixel value is more than 0.4 or uh, more than 0.5 that means there is no indication of drought. So uh, how do we use this formula? Suppose we want to calculate the vegetation condition index or VCI for the January 2007. So first of all we will use this formula that is VCI uh, NDVI current minus NDVI minimum divided by NDVI maximum minus minimum. So, NDVI's current is nothing but the average NDVI value for January 2007. Suppose if we are using not the MODIS but the length set or any other data set which could give us uh, multiple images of January 2007. So, either we can take any of the date or we can do the average or we can do the medium. So, in this case, we are going 
the average uh, NDVI value of January 2007 because January 2007 or uh, January month uh, Modest data produced two NDVI uh, images and we are taking the average of that so that will become the NDVI current next is the NDVI minimum so what is actually NDVI minimum it is the minimum NDVI from January of all the years from that is 2000 to 2020 so in this example in this case we are going to uh, do the analysis with the historical data set from 2000 to 2020 so in this 20 years of spans we will get uh, approximately uh, 20 January uh, 20 time January images uh, every January, uh, suppose we are getting suppose two images, so that means 40 January images, and the minimum of all the uh, that 40 images will be the minimum NDVI. And similarly, we will get the NDVI maximum. And after getting the current minimum maximum, we will calculate the VCI. To understand more of this uh, concept, okay, now we will go to the Google Earth engine. So this is our uh, Google Earth Engine code editor. So we have already loaded our script and we will just hit run button and let's see how this uh, whole code uh, works. So first of all, we have used our AYE, uh, that means area of interest uh, using the shape file. And this shape file is the uh, Bundelkhand districts, uh, Bundelkhand districts of central India. Uh, this is one of the most drought prone area in the central India. And for the case study, I've used this uh, shape file. You can use uh, your own shape file, whatever area you want to use. The next thing that we have used is the uh, import the modis NDVI data. So in this case, we are using the modis 006 mod 13 q one it, it is a 16 daily uh, NDVI data. And uh, we have used a function uh, because this data is actually come with a scale of 0 0.0001. So to, norm, uh, to bring down NDVI values, uh, from the uh, scale factor uh, we have used this function and with the help of this function we will um, divide every images in this particular uh, image collection by 10,000 so uh, the first thing that we have printed is the data set size uh, so from like a uh, whole 2000 to 2020 it is uh, the like 528 images and uh, DVI images are available for whole world okay now the next thing, uh, uh, like uh, we have selected a year and the month for which we have to extract the VCI. Uh, so in this case, we are using the year as 2007 and month as 2001. Okay. So first of all, we will need to extract the maximum NDVI and minimum NDVI. As I told you, when I say the NDVI maximum, that means the maximum of the NDVI from all the Januarys. Okay, because we have taken the January month. So we have used the function of the from the filter as the calendar range and use the month. So after using this uh, print command, this NDVI variable will print only the images from uh, initial image collection that are the image in the January month. So uh, in this case, we can see that uh, the total 46 image have been printed. If we go, if we want to recheck, we can go to the properties or uh, sorry features and uh, we can check the properties like uh, this is I've started from the 1st of January 2001. Uh, we just use an any random image and this is the 17th of January 2013. Uh, this image is sorry properties 17th of January 2021. That means this is the all the January images. Okay. And if we have selected our image collection only for the January image, we just need to apply a filter NDVI max and NDVI minimum. So NDVI underscore max is the variable which contains only the maximum NDVI values and this is the only contains the minimum NDVI values. Okay. Now the main part uh, that we have used. The next part that we have used is the current NDVI. So in this case, we are use, uh, calling the current NDVI values NDVI T for the specific month and for the specific year. So we have applied the filter dot calendar range two times, one for the year and one for the month. And in this case, we are using the median value. As I told you, either you can take the first or you can take the average 
anything. So in this case, we are taking the median value. Okay, now the final calculation for the VCI is just simple. We have get a single image for the present NDVI. We have got the image of maximum NDVI and the minimum NDVI for the genuine. So we have applied the function. That means present NDVI minus NDVI minimum divided by NDVI maximum minus NDVI minimum. And we have renamed this particular band as the VCI. And after hitting the run button, we can see a single image has been uh, displays we have uh, given the color rotation so the all the all the images have been displayed like this is the NDVI maximum minimum present NDVI and present VCI so if we go to the inspector tool and the red color here is the uh, va uh, values which are lesser and the blue color which is the value are the from the higher side so if we uh, click on any red color pixel we will get the VCI value and not only the VCI but the all the values for example the present NDVI value is 0.76 so we can see that a 0.76 is actually a very good NDVI uh, sorry 0.76 is the maximum NDVI the present NDVI is the 0.35 so uh, we can see that in this particular pixel the maximum NDVI has gone up to the 0.76 so that and the minimum is 0.34 so that means is it, it is a vegetation uh, it is a pixel which contains vegetation throughout the season of the January uh, but at present case it is uh, uh, very near about the minimum value so that's why the VCI is 0.01 that means uh, drought is actually happening over that pixel over that day if we click over any blue area okay i just over here so we can see that the present ndvi is 0.61 uh, which is a very good that means more than 0.5 the healthy vegetation and it is very nearby to the maximum value that is why the vci is 0.66 that means no drought is actually happening over this case if we any uh, try to click any of pixels over with the yellow might take uh, some time to load okay uh, I'll just take any yellow pixels and let's see uh, what will tell so here the maximum range of NDVI is gone up to the 0.81 but present is 0 0.40 that's why it can be considered as 0.3 that means a moderate drop okay so now this is the case when we want to cal calculate the VCI for a specific month and for the specific uh, ESFU January 2007 so but uh, as we know that we are using the Google Earth engine which is a very powerful computation platform in which we are actually processing numerous of images in a single go so what now if we want to calculate the vci for each and every month from 2000 to 2020 and for that uh, we have uh, written a small addition to the script i'll just uncomment it and we have written a function so what this function will do so uh, this function, uh, first of all, uh, clip our image with respect to EY, then it will extract uh, the date of the first image. So in this function, we are going to uh, give the whole of the image collection of NDVI. So it will take the first NDVI image and it will extract the date of that particular image. It will extract the month of that particular image. And after that, we will apply a filter, a uh, month filter so that means if we got the month we can extract uh, for an example the first image is suppose is the june image okay and in this particular case the data set 2 we have extracted the uh, june images from whole of the 20 years in the data set 2 variable and we have calculated the ndvi minimum with the data set 2 that means this is the uh, minimum ndvi of uh, whole june that is the maximum ndvi of whole june and uh, at the end we will calculate the vci which means uh, the present ndvi that means particular june subtract the minimum and divide it by maximum minimum and it will rename the vci and of course it will copy the property so that the date format would uh, not uh, remove so now we have applied this function to the uh, each and every ndvi images so after printing this uh, data set it will not only give the vci of only one image but the vci of every 528 images so that's why it might take some more time that's why it, uh, so now at the end we can see this this is the vci image collection of 528 images 
as it was the input and if we need to check the VCI of every 528 days we just go to the inspector tool and click annual over the pixel range so this is the maximum NDVI uh, this is the minimum from our previous script uh, from the present uh, this portion the later on portion, uh, last portion we are getting uh, this is the VCI of the last image but this is the VCI series so if we uh, open in the uh, new tab we can see that this is not the VCI for only a single day but for the whole 20 years so this is how we can use this script to calculate the VCI not only for single day or a single month but for a whole time series so uh, we can apply add some mode pop part of the script to the script so that we can actually calculate the area which is specifically lesser drought or the mode drought in entire 20 years of or we can also do some analysis or some write some script so that it can divide the image into five classification that means if the vci is point uh, more than 0.5 then we can classify as a no drought area if the vci is less than point uh, one it is can be described at the uh, drought drought area so this thing can also be done with this help of, with the help of this script and uh, that's it so hope you uh, like this video and if you found this video informative please share with your colleagues friends uh, and hit the like button share this channel and thank you